Hello, welcome to this finance course. My name is Miranda Lam and I'm your instructor this semester. In this class, I'm going to introduce you to some basic functions and basic concepts in finance. Uh, since this is likely going to be the first finance class for most of you, I'm going to describe a little bit about the different career paths in finance. Um, even if you have not thought of finance as in your future, you may want to take a look and see if some of these career paths may interest you. For most of you that are currently working in the corporate world, you probably know that there are finance functions in every single organization. This can be nonprofits, uh, it can be a for profit corporation. It ranges everything from hospitals to technology firms to manufacturing firms. Almost every single organization has an important finance function. And the entry level position for that is typically an analyst. And as you move up, you may become a treasurer or a CFO. Another important area in finance is investments. These are people that we often think of as working on Wall Street. Um, this include the money managers and the financial analysts. If you are interested in working in the investment field, I strongly encourage you consider obtaining a CFA, which is a Charter Financial Analyst designation. I am a CFA myself, and I'll be happy to talk to you about the requirements and the advantages of becoming a CFA. And then there's a huge section in finance that deal with financial services that includes banking. And this cover a whole range from stockbrokers to financial planners and investment bankers. Investment bankers mostly work with businesses and uh, financial uh, stockbrokers and insurance brokers typically work with individual investors. Uh, and then there's a distinction between stockbrokers and financial planner. A lot of times uh, a financial planner and if that's a field that you're interested in, I recommend considering looking into becoming a certified financial planner. A financial planner the, has an additional fiduciary responsibility to the investor. So uh, if, you, if you are not going to be a financial planner yourself, but you are seeking for advice on your own personal finance, uh, having a financial planner on your side is a good idea because as a CFP, they have to put your interest ahead of that of the um, of the investment banks. So a financial planner oftentimes may charge a fee, but they will be free to recommend products that may not involve commission, whereas a stockbroker basically work uh, mostly for commission. So they don't have the primary fiduciary responsibility, and that's an important distinction. And then the, uh, another important area in finance, and particularly today, is looking at risk management. And risk management covers insurance for businesses as well as individuals, and this covers the entire area of health insurance, um, home insurance, automobile insurance, uh, property insurance, and of course, most important for businesses and also for individual uh, liability insurance. Uh, risk analysts sometimes become an actuarial. Again, that's another certification that you can get. Um, a very um, high in demand area in finance is also real estate. And this covers both sides. This is the property valuation. So this is um, this can be for the developer uh, as well as financing for real estate. So th this will be the mortgage broker or the mortgage ori originator. Uh, if you are interested in uh, pursuing or finding out more about career in finance, uh, here's a useful website to check out. In this course, our primary focus is business finance. Um, and we look at business finance from the perspective of how do how does the finance function enhance the operation of the business. So when we think of finance, we first things that come to our mind is to look at investment decisions. Should we invest in this particular project? And in finance, um, investment is synonymous as valuation. So basically, what the primary question we want to address is, will we be able to generate and add value to the firm? Can we create value for the owners of the firm? So when we talk about valuation, we're going to uh, look at values of any asset. So that includes financial assets, 
So financial assets are stocks and bonds. And then there are real assets. Real assets will include machinery, um, buildings, real estate, property. Um, and then there are projects. Projects can be a combination of uh, people, businesses, and, and investments. So all those will require us to assign values to them. The way that we evaluate the uh, compute value is based on the potential future cash flows of these projects. So in um, in computing valuation, it boils down to three very important parts. The first is looking at what kind of cash flow can a particular project generate. And then we compare that to how much money we have to put out today, so the cash outlay for the project. So what we are getting back and what we have to pay today. And then last, lastly is what else can we do with that money? Because if we don't invest in a particular project or if we buy one stock, we are giving up the opportunity to buy another stock or to invest in another project. In economics and finance, that alternative use, that the other things that we could do with our money is called opportunity cost. So there are three major areas that we'll cover in this uh, in corporate finance or business finance. The first is looking at what investment what investments should the firm participate in so that it can create value for the firm and that is called capital budgeting. Once we have decided which investment we want to focus on, then we need to come up with a way to pay for it. That's the financing decision and the, we call that capital structure. Capital structure refers to whether or not the firm is going to finance its projects using equity or is it going to borrow money? So is it going to use equity or is the company going to use debt? That's the second major question that we'll address. And then those are notice that those are both long term. So we also need to look at the short term and short term is called working capital man management. So those are the three major areas in business or corporate finance. Long term investment, which is capital budgeting. Financing is capital structure, and then short term is called working capital management. We will end this video here. In the next video, I'm going to continue discussion of the basic business enterprise. See you in a bit.